The great thing about waking up uh, after the election in America is realizing that for the first time in a while, we've got some breathing room, right? For the last two years, really from 2010 to 2012, we were in this breathless pace where we were just under attack, under attack, under attack as labor in particular, as unions and as the progressive movement. What the 2012 election did is it created breathing room. So the question is, what do we do with the breathing room? Uh, we have this sort of mismatch of putting our very best people and having our most exciting conversations in this country in the months that lead up to the U.S. election, and then we let everyone go home. We actually have to reverse that process. We have to take the kind of energy and excitement that we had going into the 2012 election, the sense of urgency that we had heading into the 2012 election, and jam that straight into the governing period. There is no time to sort of break. Uh, we have Wall Street right now, manufacturing, and I think this is the key word, manufacturing a huge crisis, uh, this thing called the fiscal cliff. With our breathing room that we have now, we have to totally reframe the crisis. The only crisis, the only fiscal cliff in this country that anybody, especially the labor movement, should be talking about is the fiscal cliff that Wall Street uh, forced every American worker to walk off uh, in 2008. Um, and by the way, if you're poor, you've been hanging on that cliff forever on a branch. Uh, but what changed in this country is that around about 2007, 2008, uh, Wall Street said we're going to push a whole bunch more people off uh, the cliff. So that's the only fiscal crisis in this country, the one that's facing American workers. You know, I just uh, published a book uh, by Verso Press called Raising Expectations and Raising Hell. And uh, I never in a million years imagined actually I would write a book because I'm an organizer and I like to spend my time talking with workers and hanging out with workers. But the truth is, the reason I wrote the book is because I think it's filled with lessons about uh, how we actually can build a more effective movement um, and a more effective movement for the governing period. Again, there's plenty of lessons in the book about how to win an election because I've had the pleasure of being involved in a lot of winning elections. But the focus of the book is about what does the union movement and the progressive movement do in the governing period. And we're just starting a whole new governing period. So uh, I think people want to learn about what is it we should be doing now. It'd be terrific to read the book.